Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and it's carrot planting day today here on the farm and uh, there's a couple of tractors which have turned up, a Massey and a New Holland here. Uh, it's a lovely day, although we have got some clouds uh, but the sun's been popping out and hopefully behind me you can just see there's the Massey in the distance and this is the trailer which they use, the carrot company, to transport the, uh, the cedar around. Uh, hopefully you can see where they've been and how they're getting on. There's the Massey uh, just over there in the distance and on the back it's just got a, a bed prep bed preparing power harrow and uh, we'll soon see which model it is in a minute. This is a 7724, looks like a brand new one. And there's the power harrow on the back. And off she goes, preparing the beds there as you can see with the power harrow and then it's got the box on the back, uh, probably putting in a pesticide into the soil and then uh, just over on the right hand side we've got the New Holland which is just coming up, we'll just go and see the New Holland which is just drilling the carrots, I think it's the same one as last year, uh, the T7, so we'll just go and see how the drill's getting on. And I think it is the same one as last year uh, by the looks of things, you guys will have to tell me if I'm wrong, uh, but I'm pretty sure it is the same one and it's just planting the carrots here into the beds. So there we go, that's the carrots uh, which are just being planted there. Um, it's nice to see them going in the ground and within the next few weeks we'll start to see the carrots pop out of their beds and then uh, we'll be able to see them growing throughout the rest of the year and then they'll be harvested towards Christmas. So I'm just back in the beet field here now and since we had the, the rain over the last few days it has really really made a difference. You can see just behind me there's a patch there, uh, that's where the drill, sugar beet drill was caught on a stone. Uh, so it stopped drilling over that patch which is, which is a little bit uh, disappointing but it's just one of those things on this Stonia farm. And just walking along here in this row, I'm just going to have to go and get a, a hoe out of the shed. Uh, we've got some seed beet which has just started to come out. Seed beets, for those of you guys who don't know, are uh, basically like uh, sort of mutated seeds in the sugar beet uh, seed in the uh, when it comes out of the drill. So unfortunately we do have a few of these knocking around and I, and I, I will just have to pull them out. Uh, normally with a beet hoe, but this one I can just pull out by the root um, because you don't want them in there because they're taking up soil space and they'll also take nutrients away from the rest of the crop. So it's really important with the seed beet that I try and just pull them out of the ground. I've got, a, like I say, a little hoe I can use uh, to just get some of them out. Oh, it's really stuck in the ground, this one. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few here actually to get through. I'll come back to that spot with the hoe. Thankfully, because the ground's quite moist and wet, they're pulling up quite easily. When the ground's really dry, uh, it's really difficult to pull them out of the ground. Uh, you really have to basically just dig them out with a hoe or a, a small trowel. And then just in the barley field here, it's looking really, really good. Hopefully there's going to be quite a bit of bedding straw this year, uh, because we did, we, last year we didn't quite make enough straw. Um, we can also use use the straw for feeding to the animals uh, because it's barley straw. Uh, you can't really feed wheat straw, but barley straw you can feed. Also, oat straw is really, really good for cattle. Um, but no, I mean, just walking along, it's really nice to see the barley coming up and it's it's looking as though we're going to have a decent amount of straw. Uh, come on, Tavy, out of the crop. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm really happy. Hopefully, that, like I say, we're going to get a decent amount. Okay, so I'm just in a corner here of the field now and it's uh, it's been quite badly damaged by one of them's just running the hedge over there, uh, hares and deers. Uh, they've completely uh, eaten away a lot of this corner here when it was growing and as a result uh, this part of the field is now stunted. It's not looking anywhere near as good. Hopefully you guys can pick it up on camera. Uh, the rest of the field has all gone to head and is quite tall um, but then around here it's not looking as good at all. It's very, very difficult to pick it up on camera. Uh, but where Clover's walking there, you can just see it's quite, it's a lot, lot lower uh, than over there where it's actually started to head up. Um, it's it's uh, quite a considerable difference. 
and it's unfortunately just because of the, the deers and the hares which have uh, eaten their way through this corner um, but it will recover uh, it will come back it's just going to take a bit of time now uh, i've got no idea where clover's gone now clover clover clove she's completely disappeared <laughs> there she is tove has she seen us where's clover Ah, there she is. Come on. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> so I'm just on the uh, the field next door to uh, Top Field, where we just were. Uh, the neighbour's just come in actually to put in some fibre optic here. So he's got his uh, John Deere 6140M here, uh, which is uh, a four-cylinder model for those of you guys who don't know, and it's uh, slightly smaller than the 6155, but a little bit bigger than the the two one the 125 Rs. Um, so it's it's a nice sort of halfway house. You've got a decent bit of power. Yeah, they're they're a little bit more a um, little bit more basic, uh, but probably quite reliable actually uh, because it hasn't got any uh, fancy toys on it uh, which will which could go wrong uh, it's got, I, I don't dislike the uh, the six m's at all uh, it's a tuckwell one and then on the back uh, here is the molar or the mole plow uh, which uh, pulls along the fiber optic cable uh, so we're getting some fiber optic on the farm which is really really good because my upload time on the on the YouTube videos is normally like two or three hours, uh, so with fibre optic it should only be like 10 or 15 minutes, which will be really good, so you guys can have those videos a lot quicker. Um, so the mole plow has just got to go through the ground, and then you've got, you've got the wire on the top which pulls through the mole plow, as you can just see on the tube. Uh, it's made by Browns from Leighton Buzzard. I think they make the six bale, or the bale sledges as well, which go behind little conventional balers. Uh, so yeah, that's where the fibre optic cable comes out of. Uh, and then they've also got the digger as well here, uh, where they can dig the wire into the farm, which is going to be uh, really, really exciting to have some fibre optic. Uh, and also for all the, the local residents as well, uh, and everyone who uh, lives around here can have some fibre optic. Uh, which will be nice because we've been living in the stone ages around this part of the world for like the last 20 years you know yeah so it's nice to sort of be up to date and uh sort of stay in in touch with the modern world out in the sticks here in rural norfolk um, it's about time we finally got some wi-fi a uh, decent wi-fi anyway uh, because the, the current one's been like uh, an, up, an upload speed of like 0.5 and i think downloads like two or three so yeah um, fiber optics like 50 megabytes I think something like that so it will be really really welcome yeah. so very very important job that 6140M is doing and then just in the next door field here this is the maze which has just come up and it's looking really good across the whole field actually if you just have a look uh, over here you can just see it coming up now the rain's done it the world of good actually there it is just coming up uh, there's the maze and then you can hopefully just see the rose uh, so I've just come down this, this afternoon to the paddocks here, uh, just by the Nine Acres field where we've got the uh, potatoes just over there. And this is Winnie. Winnie is a miniature horse and she's on our farm. I don't think I've showed you Winnie uh, in the past. And uh, Winnie's got a boyfriend this week. Uh, he's come along. Here he is. <laughs> uh, so they, they're, uh, yeah, they're up to all sorts of things, those two. Uh, Winnie's uh, not that into him for some reason. Um, but yeah, they are really, really funny. And uh, when she has a foal, Winnie, it's going to be so sweet. I think it will be um, literally like a, th a third of the size of Winnie is uh, of what Winnie is now. So it, it will be literally the size of a lamb. Uh, so it's going to be really, really small. Uh, but yeah, I, I am really looking forward to seeing it and uh, watching how she progresses with the foal. Um, so that's that's what she's got the boyfriend for. Sorry, I forgot to ask you. I forgot to tell you guys about that. Um, but yeah, I just like seeing them. And on this field here. As you can see, it is uh, heavily infested with weeds because of um, a lot of grazing on here over the years and it's got a lot of thistles, it's full of thistles and nettles um, and that is why uh, the weed wiper is going to be so so handy on the farm uh, because the weed wiper is going to take out these weeds and it will clean up this field for Winnie over there so she doesn't have to eat through the thistles and nettles um, and then we'll have more grazing space uh, which will be really nice for her and also the other horses and cattle and sheep uh, which graze on the paddocks. So everything is coming together nicely. We've got some good weather at the moment. It's lovely and sunny. We've had plenty of rain on the crops. The carrots are going in. I'm finding new work for the machinery. Uh, everything is, like I say, is really going well, but it's, you know, it's a lot of work involved and uh, to, to get to that next level, to keep everything going. Um, yeah, it's a real uh, challenge, but I'm really enjoying it. And so our farming journey continues.